everyone. It is Michelle here with prodigyhelp.com. I'm with Abraham Raincatcher, who is my first grade avatar, and he is my first grade avatar that we're doing the race. So currently we are on level 10, and now we're gonna try to shoot to finish level 10, finish 11, 12, and then we're gonna land on 13 as our goal. Now remember, for all of my race videos, I don't take the time to explain why a question is a certain answer. Instead, it's just really about playing the game and letting you see how to upgrade. Um, I am gonna see if I can first get these papers. We're trying to collect three of the papers, but before I could get it, Scally showed up. So we're gonna have to bat scale, um, battle Scally and see what happens. Um, I did not level up my avatar. I probably should have, but I did not do it. Now remember though, that once you, um, I didn't use the healing stone. Once I hit level 11 though, I'm gonna end up getting all new hearts again. Remember, these are first grade questions. I'm doing race, so I'm not gonna really take the time to explain them. Um, this is how many smiley faces are there. I will say I do like to, um, right on the screen, so I found three smiley faces. Ice cream cone was pretty That's why they were so happy, because there was an ice cream cone. Like, who wouldn't be happy with an ice cream cone? All right, Scally had a 72 hit, so we'll probably get Scally in our next um, battle. Lost 39, that's all right, but I think if we get Scally, we might be able to level up to level 11. How many cars are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five cars. Okay, cast spell. Let's see if this takes Scaly out. And it does! That's fantastic. We like that. And we just leveled up to level 11. Remember, we're trying to get through 10, 11, 12, and kind of chill out a little bit in 13. Hit the next button because that tells us that we leveled up and we won. Let's get our chest. Let's see what's inside the chest. We got some coins. That's good. Typically, you get about 100 coins for every wizard that you battle. Sorry for every monster you battle. Okay, that's going to go away. One, two, three. And here's the next button. I just like to count to three because then otherwise I'm going to be like, where's that next button? So if I get in the habit of counting to three, it makes life much easier. All right, we're going to come up here. Ooh, let's see if we can get that firefly. Oh, the scaly got us before we could get the firefly. That's awful. We'll have to try the firefly next time. We want five fireflies to go back to the merchant. All right, let's just attack the scaly. I'm gonna continue using batter up. It's one of my best spells. What shape is similar to this? This is a triangle, so I'm just gonna hit the triangle. Let's see. Hoping we can get, just get the scaly in two hits because he's only a level four. Now, you'll see that I don't typically capture pets. I will start capturing them when they get level 10 or higher, um, but I don't capture them when they're this low because I'd prefer to save my money until what shape is similar to the square. Um, until I can get higher pets because otherwise some kids get really excited and they're like let me buy pets when they're young well why do you want to buy pets when they're young then you have to spend more time evolving them my vote is evolve your avatar um there's two strat there's several strategies but the strategy I'm using for the race is I'm going to evolve my avatar and then after I evolve my avatar I'll start buying um better pets instead of doing it the other way the other kids they just like to buy pets like oh this is so cool yeah I'm not like that um, when I really want to do a strategy, which I am doing for some of my other ones, um, looks like we're going to end up battling a wizard because that's a wizard there. Um, some of my other avatars, what I do is I do um, level up and go to different worlds to level up my pets more swiftly. Um, but this avatar is probably what shape is similar to the square. This is just a rhombus. It's the square on its side, so that one is. Um, I'm going to... I do like level up my pets because you really need good pets for battles. Um, but I typically won't do it for our racing ones. Okay, we're at level 11. Better up again. That's of course a rectangle just built in. I think we got the Sprite. Bye-bye Sprite, critical hit. I do like Sprites. I probably should have captured him at level seven, but I know I'll end up getting him again. And we just hit level 12. And by hitting level 12, it looks like we got a new spell. We did, we got Conjure. Now Conjure is one of those tricky spells because sometimes you're like, oh, this is so awesome. Oh my gosh, we're battling a level 11 wizard and we just got hit. Um, sometimes Conjure is like a really strong spell and sometimes it's kind of weak. So you never know what you're gonna get. Um, add the smiley faces. One, two, three, four, five. Two plus three is my dog is very excited because we're sitting outside so 
might end up jumping on my lap. Who knows? Um, not too bad. We got um, the mushroom. Magic shot was used against us. We might have to end up, because I haven't been um, using my healing, we might end up five plus two is seven. We might end up have to use my other pet, Pico, who I think is only like a level two. So it'll be kind of tricky. See, that's why I don't like Conjure because it's only given us 269 hits and that's not fantastic. So I think that we're gonna have to use, let's use batter up again. Um, five plus three is eight. Let's see if this gives us better than 62, which is better than a conjure. When you get higher, I see that's 70. So we would have had a little bit better. This hit from Woodsman Mike though is gonna take us out. Bye. Okay, so we're gonna use our level three Pico and hopefully we'll be able to defeat Woodman Mike. Now, had I switched my pet before my other avatar lost all of its hearts, it would have cost me, Mike would have gotten another shot at me. So it's important not to switch your pets out unless you're in a specific battle, battling a specific other type of pet that you're trying to beat. That you don't switch out your pets um, until it's time. Um, five plus five, 10. And again, I'm doing this quick because this is our race. No, we're close. Ugh, hopefully we're not going to get a big hit from Mike. How did we do? My eyes are closed. Ugh, he almost took all of us. Hopefully this mud ball will do it. Ooh, we just need to use counters to show 14. So in Prodigy, each one of these rows is 5. Each one of these set of boxes is 10. And then, so I have 10 and 4 more it gives me the 14. I don't know if I could have put it in any order, honestly, I'm not sure. Is that enough? Oh my gosh, he still has nine left. What's gonna happen? Oh, we still have two left. Oh my gosh, this battle is so intense. 15, all right, we have to get this question right. Let's fill it up. Oh my gosh, what are we gonna do if we get this wrong? We only have two hearts left. All right, five, 10, 15. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Pico got a little bit more hearts. <sighs> Cannot believe we won with only two hearts to go. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. Get the member stars, we don't need them. One, two, three, here's our next button. Oh my gosh. You know what we're going to do? We're going to get this last paper. We're going to hit the map and then we're going to go back to center part of Firefly Forest. And then we're going to... No! Let's escape. We're just going to have to escape because there's no way we're going to be able to defeat Scally. Like, no way. Let's see if there's a heart on the other side. Oh my gosh, this is so intense. There is. All right, let's see if we can get this um, gemstone and heal ourselves before we go back. 18. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. Like, we are so gonna like freaking die. Ooh, shouldn't say freaking. Can't believe how intense that was. I can't believe I had to run away. I hardly ever have to run away. That is crazy. That is a good lesson to use the healing stones when you can. Thankfully, we just healed ourselves. Now, if there wasn't a healing stone right there, what I probably would have done is eaten my apple because you can eat your apple and that can help heal you. But now we have to kind of be sneaky. Oh, Scaly got us anyway. It's okay, we're trying to level up. Okay, we're trying to hit level 12 or level 13, so we might be, um, I'm not gonna even do conjure. All right, 20 means I have to fill all of these up with counters. We can say it in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. That's only 10 now. See, I tend to not use conjure very much because I think that other things are stronger. When you get pummel though, oh my gosh, pummel is like the best spell ever. Ooh, how many counters are shown? We're gonna have to do that. I'm gonna write 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen underneath my head, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Twenty-two. Yes, we got scaly. We got scaly. Okay. So we should have one more scaly and then we'll be fine. So I think what I'll probably do is get the next scaly, get the last piece of paper, go back to the center clearing, and then I'll end our video. That was so intense. Oh my gosh. Goodbye, member stars. We don't need you. One, two, three. Next. Next. Let's see, we're still probably gonna have to battle that next galley. I knew it! I knew it! Thankfully, the wizard's not there to take our hearts, but scallies we can defeat in like two, three things. We probably have to count again. Yeah, we do. This one's a little bit easier because it's in rows of four. So we've got four plus four is eight, plus four is 12, 16, 20, 30, 31, 73 like that's pretty great <coughs> level 13 that's what we're talking about it was worth it to get to level 13 all right let's do these these are by fours again so we've got four oops four that's a funny looking four eight 12, 16, 20, 24, 25, 26. And that is safe. Okay. Got him. Critical hit. Goodbye, Scally. We got extra stars. Looking good. Let's open the chest. All right, next. Goodbye, member stars. Ciao. One, two, three. Next. Like how he walks. All right, now we got the paper. Now, I do not want to do a ton of battling going backwards, so this is what we're going to do. Instead of following the hand, we're going to... Actually, I'm going to kind of wait to see where the firefly goes, because let's try to capture the firefly. Hmm. Where's the firefly going? He's hardly moving. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on, Abraham. Get this firefly. Come on. No, we want the firefly. What are you doing? Yes, we got the firefly. Great. Now, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit the map, and instead of having to do everything all over again, I'm just going to go right to Firefly Forest, because when I go to Firefly Forest, it's going to bring me back through the big tree well in the center done. clearing, right to Flora. Um, we got our monster note. That's great. You learned a new spell, Mudball. Now, Mudball is a spell for Earth, so if we go to other places like water, our mud spell will be more effective against the other pets in Barnacle Cove. The paper you picked to try bring. Okay, um, I should heal. Let's just, um, let's see how many fireflies we have and if the merchant's interested in them. And then I'll end. He says, collect fireflies for me. The next reward is at five. So we're not at five yet. All right. So I think what we're going to do is I'm just going to say goodbye. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel. We're using Abraham Raincatcher, who's taking us on the race through the first grade material, where I just do quick questions and don't take a whole lot of time explaining it, but just so you can learn and grow. Yay, we like to grow. All right. It's so Michelle with Credit Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.